Hello, good morning. It's time for business. The country's economic downturn has forced mining firms to explore new technologies to improve efficiency in their operations. The high cost of production due to difficult economic times has resulted in job losses in the sector. Speaking with Joy Business, Chief Executive Officer of the Minerals Commission, Dr. Tony Orbin, said investing in improved technologies is the way to go. He spoke with Joy Business at the opening of the 12th edition of the West African Mining and Power Conference and Exhibition in Accra. The challenge of having to uh, ensure you use power very efficiently is leading to the development of a lot of uh, power efficient power, uh, you know, efficient resources that, that, that are being used in the power industry. I mean, you can talk about solar energy uh, now gaining some pro prominence as against the, 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 the few years when uh, the world was relying largely on um, hydro and a few other sources of power. In mining, you would see that technologies will be coming up to ensure that um, low cost or low grade um, ore are mined uh, cost efficiently. So these are the opportunities for us to learn and to discuss and to even propose new technologies and new ideas of ensuring that the, the two industries, the power and mining industries, continue to maintain its uh, prominent position in Ghana. Are we getting close to, if you like, bridging the gap or catching up with those advanced countries that are employing a lot of technology in their mining, as you said, to cut back on costs because it would be very efficient? How, how wide is the gap? I, in mining, I don't think there's a big gap because most of the key mining operators in this country are multinationals who are operating similar mines elsewhere. I have had the opportunity to visit some of the mines and I can tell you and I did so with um, some some institutional heads and we were amazed how comparable you know one could make uh, with what 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 is here Chief Executive Officer of the Chamber of Mines Suleiman Kony also added his voice to the need for mining firms to invest in new technologies I think it's so critical given where we are as an industry um, you know where we have come from um, the years of boom actually behind us and um, as an industry which unfortunately has a situation where its revenue is determined largely by forces outside its control is actually confronted with how to manage its costs and um, it's so important that we actually get together deliberate on how we can be more efficient um, reducing our costs at the same time engaging with the duty bearers particularly government regarding some of the you know, stumbling blocks to mining investment. So the critical thing is that we are at a point where we need to marshal forces um, so that we actually provide the kind of enabling environments which will allow companies to invest. Hopefully by the time the investments are made and the um, production starts, we should be able to see a rebound in the price of gold such that we should, as a country, benefit. But if you wait, for, for so long to wait for the price of gold to go up before you start looking at measures to improve productivity and efficiency, then we'll lose out should there be a rebound. So this, this conference is quite critical in the life of the mining industry and in the life of the country as well. Still at the conference, former chief executive of the Volta River Authority, Kwekwa Wiki, also charged the government to expedite action in the quest to resolve the energy crisis the country is confronted with. This, according to him, has become even more crucial as it threatens the future of the mining sector. Well, mining is a, uh, a commodity business. It's cyclical. Uh, when it goes down, there are periods it will go up and it will come down again. And I think overall, um, I wouldn't say I'm worried about the future of the sector, but mining tends to have very large investment decisions to be made you know uh, if you look at the current mines uh, newmont or goldfields or even uh, anglo gold they want to typically go from surface to underground they want to invest now hundreds of millions of dollars to go underground and do more mining um, if you don't know your cost inputs it's very difficult to make those decisions. And I think those are some of the challenges that even as the gold price, you know, it's arguably in, um, not very high, um, you want to know that if I spend $500 million, um, I'll have a stable power supply because power is probably the largest single input. And these are some of the things that are not very clear at this time. And these are, these are the issues the mining sector faces. 
Right, so those were some speakers uh, at the ongoing West Africa Conference on Mining and Exhibition. Away from that, according to the World Bank, about 66% of Ghanaians and, by extension, Africans do not have bank accounts, a situation which makes capital mobilization difficult. Bankers across the continent therefore believe much can be done to rope in the unbanked. The objectives were shared by the African Banking and Finance Conference, which entered day two yesterday, under the theme Promoting Financial Inclusion and Connecting People to Banking Services. The conference seeks to explore opportunities for collaboration to attract the many outside the banking sector. Managing Director of the 6th Annual Africa Banking and Finance Conference, Naomi Nyorge, tells Joy Business, total involvement of banking and telecommunications sectors are crucial for the success. In the Africa Banking and Finance Conference, this is our sixth year, and uh, we have done this conference uh, basically in East Africa, and the reason we brought the sixth edition in, K in Ghana is because we are focusing on the financial inclusion. One, because of what, where Ghana is and what it's doing, so we thought it's a good platform to do that. Um, so we are hoping that um, uh, by bringing this event here, we're going to... Um, learn, bring people to learn from what Ghana is doing and ho hopefully be able to, um, even as a country itself, um, uh, bring other people from outside who can also bring ideas of what they are doing in their own market. Basically, that's the objective of. And that's it for the morning's business. Thanks for your attention. Do join us again at midday for more business updates. Up next is Ports. Good morning.